Hello, everyone. It's 8.15 now in Rio de Janeiro. Good morning. I'm Kelly Tavares. I'm a tour guide in the city. And I also run virtual tours. I live and I was born in the city center. And I live right here in the hustle and bustle of the city. I don't know if you can hear our tour it will be about coffee. Tasting coffee, grabbing a coffee, Brazilian style, in a coffee place called the Paradiso Cafe, where, um, how can I say? Well, they have a quote with, to the cup. It means that the coffee they sell there, the, they also sell coffee beans. They plant their own coffee. They control all the processes of planting, picking, selecting, and then bringing the coffee here to the city to roast in, in different ways, and then pack them, sell them to the public in beans or grind it as well. So let's see some of these beautiful faces walking by. Time to go. So I've switched the camera. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm a tour guide at Rio and Santos, and you can find me on different media and social media as well. So keep posted, keep connected. If you have any questions, that let me know now or in the comments or also reaching out with questions and requests on my social media at Rio and Santos Experience. Good morning, and let's go. It's already... 8, 18 in Rio de Janeiro. Let's go for a walk. Walk and talk. Coffee in Rio de Janeiro. So here we are on the headquarters of the city center. People are getting ready for work. Like I said, you see with the backpacks or even talking with their neighbors. There are already some places where people can grab a coffee in the morning. And we are on this street, Henrique Valadares, where when I was a child, I used to come here and play uh, with my neighbors and friends. And on my left side here, look at that. There is a red building on the back, on the very back there. Red historic building, that building is from the fireman, the fire station. And, but there is also this big building in front of me. And I want to share which building is that. This is the building of Petrobras Oil and Gas Company. There is another famous one in this very avenue, like a few blocks ahead, like two blocks ahead on the same street, which is the oil and gas company Petrobras from Brazil. And this one is the main, uh, the main, or is the newer one, the modern one. This is skyscraper. I entered there already once, where when I was giving classes for people, for the staff there. We are also here on the street where the police department is located. And uh, the, our history related to coffee is a place, is a history where you see um, that our economy in Brazil was based on the sugarcane plantations with a lot of sugar mills and the coffee plantations. And the coffee was climatized in Brazil by uh, the emperor and the king who wanted to have the coffee as a um, test the coffee in the climate here, which was brought from Africa, North Africa. And it was brought here in order to be one of the main products of exportation, to export. Here we're showing already people getting their bikes to go to work so where you can get with an app from Bike Itaú and rent and go to your work with a rented bike. Hola, Jale. Tudo bom? <risos> Isso, fazendo transmissão. Tudo bem. Ah, e você? Ah, que bom. Eu tô aqui fazendo uma transmissão é, que eu coloco no canal do YouTube. Opa. So, 
Hello. Bom dia, tudo bem? <laughs> o Gilei is an artist and a famous artist here in Rio, in Brazil. And I really love how he, talented he is. Yeah. So you can check him, o Gilei, and we can see that on his social media as well. Aí, o Gilei, que, que legal. legal. Eu vou continuar legal. aqui. Hoje estou fazendo tudo sobre o café. Aí eu conto um pouco sobre a história do Brasil, mostro alguns ah, prédios e tal. É, é, é Rio Encantos. Aí depois eu vou baixar esse aqui ah, e depois eu coloco legal. lá. Que legal. Tá? Bacana, bacana. Eu quero te encontrar qualquer dia tocando sim. lá na ateliê. Ah, sim, eu estou fazendo show. Quando eu fizer o show, eu vou, eu vou te avisar lá. Beleza. No tá? tá bom. Bom, te ver. bom trabalho, bom dia. So, Jalei is a very talented artist. It's very nice to bump into him. He's a my neighbor, like I said. Uh, the city center is a, a place and a neighborhood where many artists gather. And uh, it's a place where we live. Uh, there are theaters, art, uh, cultural centers, places for workshops, and them teaching and living and creating around here. It's a very exciting place to be, the center of Rio. So here we see many of the historic buildings who were re that were restored. And if you want to take, you can take a, an, a postcard here. It's a very beautiful uh, composition for a print of the historic city center. And it's not a very, um, how can I say, touristic part of the city. It's very residential, it's where a lot of people come and live here. And with the Portuguese colonization and Afro-Brazilians uh, col uh, living here, shaping and creating and constructing everything like we saw in This is a, a very residential part with many residential buildings. These are not office buildings, what I'm showing here to you. On the contrary, that Petrobras Oil and Gas Company, this building is its office building and also on this street, if we keep going ahead, you see that main, most of the cars are going in that direction, also the buses, they are going to the city center, to the south zone, to the other parts of the city where people are going to the office buildings and to work, that's more business and commercial. In the meanwhile, here are living their homes to come to places where they will work. Now, this beautiful historic building here, which I'm going to show you here from the corner, is a building from the DOPS, the police department. And it's also connected with the history and the, the police central station, the historic one. And on the back, the modern one is where the recent police department is located. The DOPS has a long history related to the coffee farmers of the 50s, 30s, and also the coffee politics of the coffee and milk politics. I could talk more about that in another video of the coffee tours. Because the coffee experience tour is a tour where we blend conversations, history and of course coffee that's the idea to have tours where we talk about different topics and at the same time we listen to you to your questions to your inquiries and we show cool things to be the coffee tour is going to be a little bit different every time when we start here we arrived at our stop the fazenda paradiso cafe where you see that they specialize in different ways of making coffee. And they are ready to get ready for Christmas, Feliz Natal. Olá, bom dia. Tudo bom? Eu sou Kelly, guia de turismo. Aí eu tô chegando para mostrar um pouquinho do café, pedir um cafezinho, né? E mostrar um pouco da cafeteria. Aí eu tô fazendo uma transmissão virtual. Tá, ok. Tá, obrigada. Oi, oi, bom dia. Tudo bom. Aí eu tô falando em inglês, inclusive. É, que depois eu vou botar isso aqui no YouTube. Posso mostrar um pouquinho da filtragem? So, you see he's preparing here the filter to filter the coffee here. Olá, tudo bom? Oi, oi. 
and she's filtering the coffee the way we do as Brazilians. We like to filter our coffee in this type of filter and with the best selection that we can have here in this place. It's not everywhere where you go where you find the best coffees. This is a place to come and be, and it's usually a place where people like me who like gourmet and special coffees will come to because they are roasted in the right way. Qual o seu nome? Daniela. Daniela, eu sou Kelly. Prazer. Prazer, Daniela. So, and here they have nice treats, cookies that they made, they make here. And they offer different ways to drink coffee and to brew coffee as well. Like you see here, they have different types of brewers and the coffee beans. So, here they are showing. It's so good to have this here para mostrar esses grãos de café. Poxa, muito bom. Ah, legal. Obrigada, sim. So she will grab the coffee for, to show us. And then we can see how I will tell you a little bit about them. Now, here we, they are already selling this kit for Christmas. Chocotone uh, and uh, a coffee. And they're on cup. And they have many treats here. Look how delicious the uh, cakes are. Some pastries, salty pastries, pastries that you can have, empanadas, quiches, and the typical Brazilian cheese balls. Olá. Olá, Olá. tudo bom? Oi, oi, estamos aqui na transmissão. Obrigada. So here the coffee, we have them roasted, the coffee beans in different sizes that they serve. And for those who like, the 20s tea. I'm also a tea person. Now here, I would like to share a little bit of the history. I told you that here uh, in the Café Paradiso, they have a quote of from the crop to the cup. So uh, here Marina, the, she's the owner of the coffee place. She shares a few photos of her family in the past when they had, her grandparents had a farm of coffee. Her, her grandparents had a farm coffee, coffee farm. And here they are. And there she is. He is showing her pictures as well while she was a baby in the farm of her father. And now she with her father here in the coffee place. It's a special place where she, they are both specialized on the best coffee uh, production and they even produce to export. Here's their kitchen on the back. And the coffee selection that they make their own roasting. So you have different ways that you can have a special coffee from the crop to the cup. Arabica, because it's Arab traditions, the beans. So they have different types of coffee beans planted. And the Arabica is a type of species of coffee that is planted here in Brazil and it's one of the best selections that we have. Obrigada, viu? So here she selected to us the beans, the coffee beans. Ah, eu queria pedir para vocês um filtrado pequeno para mim, por favor. Aí eu vou subir. Obrigada, tá? So I asked for a filtered coffee that you will make. And here I would like to share the beans which are not roasted. They are very quali good quality beans. This, they are hand picked and they have a production uh, which will wash them, will put them through a, like um, a peneira. It's a kind of a filter, but it's where you use to select the grains in the crops when harvesting. É um pequeno de torra média, tá bom? 
Está ótimo. Obrigada. É, and here are the beans roasted. So how different they get. I will show you also up there the roasting machine while she prepares my my cup of coffee. This is one type of historic construction of the city center. It's nice that we get a chance to come in and see one of these buildings from inside. This was already remodeled and it's showing some of the pictures of the farm here from Fazenda Paradiso Café. The beautiful flowers of the coffee tree, the beautiful selection of the grains. Here then the coffee beans in different phases of drying and being selected and picked and drying outside, like here you see the different types and different stages when they are put on the ground and they are also a spread with a tool like that one and they are dry it on the sun. Here are the fields of the coffee plantation farm, and the ales of the trees. Olá, tudo bom? Bom dia. <laughs> and here an example of the, the construction of the building. They were made out of using all the debris and the, the rocks from hills and mountains that were here in this area. Showing the coffee place here in Marina, in the clippings of the newspapers. She's a specialist, she, she runs, they run tours here. And also I run tours here and they run courses with workshops, teaching people how to appreciate coffee, to select coffee and what makes a special coffee. So you see here a selection of the different blends of Arabica and uh, what the, the di differences will be, how much they will um, roast, the type of roasting, this is the roast machine, and also the type of selection. Look how beautiful. They make the roasting here weekly. It's freshly roasted. And you have the selection Bourbon, Reserva, Yellow Bourbon, and the different uh, senses of coffee tasters flavor wheel that you can compare according to the how the coffee was produced. So we have here the art of aroma perception in coffee. So we have many types of uh, aromas that you can get, like spicy, resinous, pyrolytic with malt, roasted coffee, pipe tobacco, or more the art of aroma perception in coffee with enzymatic. You can have flavors which are more flowery, fruity, or herbal. Or you can also have sugar browning type, caramelly, nutty, nutty, or chocolatey. Or aromatic tints, more earthy, fermented, or phenolic. As you see, it's a whole, it's a whole uh, world of uh, coffee uh, production and also brewing from to make to extract the best that coffee can bring. So this is a nice coffee house, and I will share more things here with you. It's a nice place where you can come and enjoy your time with a good coffee. Now I will share the street where we are. So I live nearby here, just walking 10 minutes from here. And like I said, it's very residential, some historic houses and modern buildings all together. Cool thing about the history of, uh, of Brazil is that, of Rio de Janeiro is that here was the capital of Brazil. 
So you see all together many of the important buildings from the government present uh, with a lot of history and in uh, businesses which we will, uh, uh, how can I say, hide and have inside these jewels. And you need to be a local to know where the nice venues and places are to come to the right places and try good things. In spite of having so many apps today to show you where some of the nice venues are, some of them are rated by locals. So they won't always be uh, easily accessible for everyone in, um, in, on the internet, but they can be easily accessible in the historic center of Rio, such as here, uh, if, you, if you come and you see and you try and then you share, like I am doing here now. Here's her father, the father of Marina, in the farm, what, with one of the machines that makes the grain selection. Surrounded by art representing the city, like these prints here, uh, the uh, paintings with Nanking representing the Sugarloaf Mountain, a cup of coffee, of course, a uh, malandro, a typical carioca from in front of the Lapa Aqueduct, where I also run towards. And he's also grabbing a cup of coffee and even the Christ Redeemer statue with a cup of coffee there. Well, now I'm waiting for my cup of coffee and I will share a little bit more of history with you, for you. Here is the DOPS or the Department of the Police, Central Police Station, which is I said it was related to the farmers of the plantation farms of coffee. And during the dictatorial government, where we had a military government for 21 years from 1968 on for 21 years. And then these department, police departments, where they had many of the prisoners persecuted by the police because they were uh, accused of being communists just because they, many of them were fighting for human rights. Now, she's already setting up all the things here to prepare the coffee. Hey, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, she's putting here the... Hario, the name of this filter. This is Coa, it's a method of Brazilian. Ah, this is the Coa, it's a Brazilian method. Você sabe falar inglês também? Desenrola? Eu entendo, mas eu não falo. Ah, tá ok. Mas ele é um método que foi criado no Nordeste. Ah, it was created in the northeast of Brazil. E qual é o cafezinho que a gente tem aqui hoje? Esse é o Grão Reserva, ele é um Catuaí 144. Ah, Grão Reserva, Catuaí 144. And you see the way it was grinded, it was, it was thicker because of the method of radio, no, of coa uh, that has been used. So there is a right temperature also that she uh, uses a balance where she puts the measure of water to the measure of coffee powder. And another thing that I'd like to call your attention to, when you have a coffee which has all these bubbles and foam, it means that it was uh, recently roasted to a right point where it keeps the foam, the right amount of foam, and it was recently roasted. So it keeps a lot of the fresh uh, oxygen and oils and scents being brought out of the beans, which is really special. So if you filter a cough, you don't see the foam, it means that it was all over roasted and it's too dark, too black, like charcoal, which compromised a lot of the taste. And also that maybe it was roasted a while ago. So it's not as fresh, not as tasty. Mm. I can already smell the great sense of this coffee. I want more of this smell. Mm. It's great. 
amazing. And, and Dani, she already brought here roast the, the coffee powder, grind it. So you see how, how beautiful this coffee is. It's not too dark, it's not too thin. And the way you grind is appropriate to the way, to the technique you use to brew. That's very important. So these are the roasted beans of coffee and beautiful grains, as you can see. I will put the camera with a zoom. You see how beautiful these hand-picked grains are, beans are. Here's a close, close look to them. The quality of the beans are really important. If they have too many defects, they will pro have problems uh, of acidity or of taste that will compromise the taste and trait. And also sands. Look at this. While before it's been roasted, while it's green still, how beautiful and perfect these beans are. Mmm, look at the color of this coffee. You see, it's more caramel color. And when you put it in the cup, you see it looks darker, but in fact, it's caramel-like. It's not super dark coffee. I like the light and medium brewing, uh, roasting. It's what I asked her for. Now, Dani, muito obrigada pela demonstração aqui da... Tá, obrigada. Dani, I, I ordered Dani uh, a pão de queijo, which is a typical uh, cheese balls that we uh, eat here in Brazil for um, breakfast, snacks, and we love it. Cheese balls, pão de queijo. And pão de queijo was invented in Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais state is where um, Marina and her family comes from and where um, the selection of these coffees also are planted. So uh, pão de queijo is an invention from Mineiros, the people from Minas Gerais state. And there is a long history of coffee there as well on this state. They have one of the best gastronomies and coffees of the country. Now, let me try my cup of coffee. Mm. Mm. Ah, it's so delicious. And I'll tell you one thing. Like when I... Um, a coffee break is a moment while you're in the office or at home where you gather people or you gather your own self and you think, you relax, or when you feel that you need to wake up a little to have a cup of coffee and then get ready to work again. It's what I'm doing. It's morning time in Brazil and I'm having my coffee for breakfast at Fazenda Paradiso Café. One of my favorite coffee places in Rio de Janeiro. Mm. Ah. And I'll tell you one thing. You think that all Brazilians will love coffee? The majority will. In fact, you are right. But I, in my case, took me many decades, almost 40 years, to start drinking coffee. And uh, you know why? Well, it's time for a little bit of history why we, uh, we have more coffee here. Simply because when we have a history of coffee, the plantations, the best coffee for export were for export. The locals, they would stay with the cheaper coffee with the fat, 
and uh, with the over roasted ones. Obrigada, linda. Muito obrigada. So here is the famous pão de queijo. Soon I will tell more of this history. Let me grab. Um, I with my own hands because I left home and I washed my hands. Look at this. Mm, it has cheese inside. And let me get closer to this. It has cheese inside. Oh, oh. Look at this dough. Mm. This dough is perfect. It's hot. Um, very good. Mm -hmm. okay. We love pão de queijo. There is even a car that passed on the street singing a song saying that pão de queijo is everything I wanted. Pão, 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 pão de queijo. Mm. It's all that I want. Sorry about that. I do, do, dove in the cheese bowl. Mm. Cheese bread. Mm. It's hard to stop eating once you start. Well, where I was. Mm. Do you have any questions so far? Just to remind you, my name is Kelly Tavares. I'm a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro. And I run this special coffee tour with history. It's a tour where we walk around the city uh, in a part of the historic town. It lasts about two hours and a half. In this video, I'm just giving a virtual short demonstration of what that is. And we visit historic churches, important buildings. We dive more into the history of coffee, politics, economics, and also gastronomy of Brazil, trying different other pastries and learning even more in a deeper level about what is special coffee, what makes a special coffee, how you select the grains, how can they, uh, they can be brewed, and answering your questions with specialists, because many of the people who work here, they are specialists in coffee. They've done like barista courses, they've learned and they were trained to answer and understand about the crops, the selection that they sell, how it, roast, it is roasted. So if you want any specific tour related to the coffee, please don't hesitate. Get to me, get back to me through my social media. Mm. At Rio Encantos Experience. Send me an email or message and say, Kelly, please, would you please make that tour talking about this part of history and focusing on that brewing type being French press, Brazilian press, Aero press, uh, different ways of brewing it that we do also in Brazil? Or would you please give us a course on what makes a special coffee, showing some of the, the beans, talking about them or about roasting? And I will be very happy to do and tailor that experience for you and your group, okay? Also come for a walking tour if you can when you come to Brazil and you'll be amazed by the beautiful art on the streets, by the beautiful architecture on this avenue where we visit the Cathedral of San Sebastião. It's a modern architecture, iconic church here in the city with beautiful glass works and you have other nice streets on the streets. And we can talk about different different things, but with the focus of coffee on the frame. Hmm. Nossa. We say nossa. Nossa is like wow. Muito bom. Muito bom. 
Very good. Mm. So the best coffee, you use it to be exported. And we're left here to um, the farmers and to enslaved black people and locals and our, the descendants to us, the worst coffee, which many times, instead of being these beautiful beans that I showed you, they were usually the ones with the fat, not very controlled on the acidity and the taste and scents. Therefore, to disguise the defect on flavor and scent, they over roast it. That's why many places where we go and have a coffee, which is extremely roasted and dark, it's usually very bitter. And to disguise the bitterness, we compensate it using a lot of sugar. That's why in Brazil, many people until today will drink the worst coffees, which is the cheapest one that mostly people will have access to. Extremely black, extremely roasted, and with a lot of sugar. Because we had our economy based on the coffee plantations and the sugar mills, the sugar export and production. Therefore, we consume a lot of things with a lot of sugar. Well, if you like this, follow me and have an experience with me. For more, come, ask, collaborate, participate, and help support listening to our stories and sharing our knowledge to get the best that you can okay thank you so much for your participation now i will have my cup of coffee and my bungee case mm. bye bye